This is box number 16. I think this one's also books. I've sort of gotten into a, a roll with the book boxes. So let's see what's in this one. Although who knows, maybe it contains some other heavy thing. Maybe it contains gold. No, it doesn't. Okay, what have of her? Oh, well, it starts out good. <laughs> That's really nice. I am definitely going to enjoy that. Looks like I'm a little bit bright here. So you know what, I'm going, no, that's fine. Okay. I love stuff like this. All right. And as expected, it is books. If you've not read this book, you must read it. It is hilarious and wonderful. Joys of Yiddish, hooray for Yiddish. They're basically the same thing. Um, it's a, a dictionary of sorts, but the definitions are all done in jokes, mostly. Looks like these are mostly language books. Um, Esperanto, very funny Dutch-English book. Oh yeah, and the old Berlitz books, you know. Uh, the funny thing about this, this is a multi-language one, but there's a section in each one of the languages on dating, and it's things like, uh, would you like a cigarette? Uh, where do you live? That kind of thing. Uh, the Bible in Esperanto. Uh, satirical story about the World Esperanto Association Central Office, where I worked in 1991. That's on Nieuwe Binnenweg in... Uh, in Rotterdam. I saved this. This is a copy of Farvorts, Farvorts uh, the Yiddish newspaper. This one is from 1993. There was a time that there were uh, dozens of daily Yiddish newspapers in New York City, and this is pretty much the last one, and I, I'm pretty sure they don't publish anymore except as a supplement to a weekly publication, if that. So, But what's fun about this is in the back, you have, uh, of course, I did it in the wrong direction. You have uh, classifieds, let's see. Yeah, the classifieds ads with uh, marriage bureaus, lots of marriage bureaus and things like that. If you can read Yiddish, some of these are just wonderful. Um, I'm not going to try to do that now. I took a year of Yiddish, but, uh, of course, didn't have an opportunity to keep it up. So this is it. Well, let's get some things out of the way from the corners here. Uh, books, another Esperanto book. I loved this atlas when I was a real estate agent in San Francisco. It's not only uh, an atlas of the city, it shows every parcel, which I thought was so cool. Of course, uh, Google Maps now does that, but still, very cool. Okay, just to clear, the, clear this out a little bit. Ooh, old computer magazines. Here's uh, one, volume one, number one from May 1984, introducing the Macintosh. Uh, let's see how late they go. It looks like it's 1983 to 1985 or thereabout. Um, somebody cut them up, probably cut out the ads. So, yeah, great stuff. Okay, and then a large box of I don't know what. Ooh. Ha! Huh. American postage, just what, what everybody needs. You know what, I'm going to take this whole box out. I'm going to take a few boxes out. Remove this thing out of here. And just very quickly go through the contents. Cool. This is some really cool stuff I can tell already. So, we'll start with this, which appears to be... Um, Make sure that we're focused in there. Yeah, pretty good. So we got magazines, uh, more Time magazines, and then we have music that I wrote. Yeah, have to look through this later. Um, wow. This is all my college stuff, counterpoint exercises. Um, I'll just pull one out just so you get a sense of what they look like. A lot of it was just pure nonsense, to be honest, but just pulling out some of it. One thing I was always proud of is I have really good music handwriting. Yep, stuff like that. All right, we don't have to go into that now. And 
looks like that's most of what's left in this box. More music stuff. Uh, don't know what this is. More music stuff. Yeah, this is like music I wrote in college. Proof that I did something. Uh, okay, so that's one container. And this one, which had the postage, let's see what else is in here. Lots of magazines. Uh, wow. Some of these are, are funny magazines. It's a lot of humor, actually. Uh, parody magazines. Ooh, an old comics section from the newspaper. Looks like this is a complete... Oh, you know what this is? This is National Lampoon uh, did a newspaper parody that is absolutely hilarious. And what it is, is it's a complete newspaper and everything in it is uh, satirical and ridiculous. Like here we have a, a parody of Peanuts. Uh, yeah, the Dacron Republican Democrat was the pretense. Yeah, more humor. This is another uh, National Lampoon thing. It's a parody of a 1964 yearbook. And this is actually what created um, Animal House. This is, this is a lot of the pre-Animal House uh, humor. Uh, some of the stuff made it in. There's the actual front cover. <laughs> my partner of the time. This was the first time that she drew my character, uh, my horse character. <laughs> Axie is, is their name. Uh, more stuff. Oh my God, so much stuff in here. You know what? I'm not going to go through all of it, but there is, this box is clearly a treasure. Lots of furry art. Um, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I'm really going to enjoy looking through this. And in fact, I won't go through it all now because there's just too much stuff but I am very happy to discover this. Ooh, and I just found one thing I will mention, because I've been thinking about this recently. There's a, a book called Scratch Music. Uh, I forget the name of the author, but one of its highlights is 1001 Activities, which basically suggest artworks that can be created. And just to read from the top, draw a picture of a cat. Number two, puff of smoke. Number three, tap dance. Number 86, oh, oh excuse me, Number 85, eat a cherry. Number 86, make them, one, make them come thick and fast. <laughs> 87, become a cavalier. So you get the idea. It's all uh, things to spark the imagination. Anyway, I'm really glad I opened this box. The box may require its own uh, explanation at some point. But uh, this one was a real winner.